How are we all doing today? How is your business? How is your family? With that, I say a very big welcome to you today for today's tutorial. I trust we are all doing okay. So today we are going to be making this beautiful tinafo. That's what I'll call it. As requested by one of us. Okay, and I'll be using this fabric for it. I'll be using about two yards of this fabric or less, but it's not going to be more than two yards. Okay, and then I'll be using this as the band as seen on that picture. Thank you for subscribing. If you are new, please subscribe and also tap on the notification bell so that when I upload, you get notified. Okay, quickly, we'll get started. We are going to be cutting it the way we normally cut our pencil skirt. Okay. So we are cutting both the front and the back at the same time. So I will be folding into four. First into two as I have done. And then I will fold another two. With a zipper allowance of one and a half inches. Okay, so next will be to, I already marked my waistline, my hip line, and the length of our skirt. Okay, now that skirt has a band. Okay, the length of my, my skirt or dress or whatever is 29 inches. Okay, that is from here. From the waist down is 29 inches. Okay, so I removed two inches here as you can see. So this is my waistline. I'll be putting band of two inches. That's why I removed two inches. It is not a high waist skirt. Okay. Now my waistline is my hip line is four in, nine inches below the waistline. But I marked seven inches here because when I add the band, it will give us the nine inches. I hope you get that. Then my weight my length is 27 inches again when i add the band it will give us 29 inches i hope it's clear enough now I'll place my waist measurement and my hip measurement okay i'll take the hip measurement which is at this foot down to the hemline and then at the hemline I will remove two inches okay so I'll connect this waist to hip and hip to these two inches okay so I've connected it I will then cut Normally, I would have taken away half an inch here at this front skirt, but because I'm putting band, I will leave it straight this way. Okay, this is for the upper part all right my half length is 17 inches but i have here 19 inches i wanted it to be more so that by the time this place comes together a little i don't run short of fabric okay and then the width is 15 and a half inches yours can be more or less it depends on how bulky you want this area to be 
okay now if you wish to line you can line but me i'm not the lining i'll just fold the two sides these are the two sides so i'll fold here and fold here the same measurement is what i used to cut for the back okay this is for the front the back is also like this which means it is four okay i have two here i'll still cut extra two to make it four all right next will be to cut the lining for the skirt and then line it the way we normally line our pencil skirt okay first i will sew the lower part when i put my lining when i sew my lining at this lower part i will draw it up this way to where i notched my skirt okay it has notch already so i'll draw it like this and then sew it this way next will be to now attach the band to the waist i've attached the band i also put my zip okay so if this were to be a skirt we are so done with it but then we still have one more thing to do that is the upper part okay? you need to find the midpoint because that is where you are going to be attaching the other one to okay okay so next will be to now attach those pieces but before then you will now need to adjust the length to your half length your accurate half length so that it's firm on you okay when you do that you remove your shoulder slope from the one that is towards the shoulder one inch okay Next will now be to join them together okay join them together and gather it i will use the measurement of five inches for the gather so when i join it i will push it together so that it becomes five inches you will then gather this one from the waist side two inches okay whatever measurement i'm putting here is also at the back side okay two inches away from the waist side so i will now gather it from here now this place that i folded remember you can actually make this double so that you don't need to put lining i hope you get that you can double it this way okay that is if you have plenty material but if you want it this way it's still fine so now this folded side i pushed it in a little so it doesn't have to show and then I will start to gather this way. Then I'm stopping here at the midpoint. I hope you get that. Okay. But what I just did, I will do it inwards this way. I hope you get that. I'll do it this way. Or you can choose to do it this way when you gather. You turn it like this okay whichever one works for you so you do it at this side this side and also at the back so i've the done that on the two sides and then i attached the lower side as well how did i do it on that midpoint i made sure each of them came together this is the midpoint okay and then two inches away from the side that is two inches here two inches here for both the front and the back i hope you get that this is two inches here two inches here that's where i began to attach and then you can see the zip side okay so that is all for this style to the person who requested for this i hope this tutorial has been helpful to you I will proceed to try it on. Let's see how beautiful or how bad it's.
looking okay thank you so much for watching till the end give us a thumbs up and please don't forget to share our videos keep watching keep being innovative until you meet in my next tutorial take very good care of yourself and keep being nice to people around you bye